What's going on guys, my name is FastPrice and today I'm bringing you another video and today guys we are back on La Arcan and in today's video what we do go up to is we are actually showcasing my brand new keyboard. This was actually fully custom built, me and my dad actually did this and honestly this keyboard is insane for my first ever custom keyboard made. This keyboard honestly didn't even take that long, which I'll talk more in today's video about. Which guys, if you do actually end up enjoying this uh, video, please feel free to use my code FASTPUTS uh, on the actual store guys. And please use my IP to actually connect to the server, FASTPUTS.ARC on HQ.net. That would honestly mean the world to me guys, so make sure to go ahead and do so. And just before we get into this video, I just want to say... It does look pretty bad in the background if you guys can see at all. I'm not really sure if you can from the camera view because I actually have moved quite recently and I'm still sitting in my actual room and everything. So I'm in like a temporary room to record videos, stream, etc. Guys, if you didn't already know that. But yeah, guys, let's get straight into this banger. Okay, guys, so basically I want to get straight into this video today, guys, and explain this custom keyboard. So if you can't already tell, this custom keyboard is actually on the base of a drop Carina, guys. This is honestly such a nice base. I love the LED so much. I'm not sure if you guys can see that at all, but guys, this keyboard is honestly super, super insane. I absolutely love it, it to bits. It's insane, guys. So yeah, this actually is on the drop Corinna board, guys, and this actually has the Panda switches, which is honestly really, really nice switches. They are made by the Glorious guys, not the Glorious, but Glorious. If you guys never heard, these were actually pre-lubed as well. These switches were. I'm not really sure if you can hear, guys, but that's pretty much what they sound like. Which I will throw up a preview, most likely right now, of how they actually sound. But I am most likely not going to. If I'm not, that's because I am actually making it into a video as well of actually making the full board because I actually did record it. Me and my dad actually built it. Well, my pretty much my dad did. And basically, I will be throwing that into a video, maybe a short, maybe an actual video, probably an actual video um, with a montage over it. Who knows, guys? It's going to be a bangalow for real, guys. I'm actually really excited for that video to come out, if I'm going to be honest, guys, because that's going to be a lot of uh, fun to watch, I hope, for you guys. So, yeah, make sure to get excited for that, guys, when that does actually get released. But yeah, guys, and next thing is I actually do have the pan switches, like I've actually said to you. And then I actually have some, like, uh, I think it's Japan or Chinese switches. I'm actually so dumb when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, I've got really nice switches on these. Honestly, this is honestly so, so nice. Then I've actually got the, um, the copper back plate on, which is the best uh, back plate for the drop Corinna, guys, if you guys didn't know. And then I've got the default stabilizers on it. The reason I got default stabilizers was I'm not really sure how hard it was to make a custom keyboard. And I'm going to be honest, guys. This isn't something a lot of keyboard uh, people say and everything like this. Keyboards are hard to make, guys. I'm going to be honest. It was not hard whatsoever. Um, wow. It, it probably was hard for people who don't know what they're doing at all. Which we didn't. But the thing is, uh, my dad's quite good at doing that type of stuff. So, in the end of the day, it was quite easy. Um, of course, we never lubed the switches, which is the time consuming. But once again, it's not too difficult we actually got prelude because of course once again i'm explaining um it what we thought it was going to be quite harder than it actually was so basically we didn't want to like do all that and i know that takes like an hour to two hours comparing how quick you are and what stations you have and basically i wanted to get the best possible uh switches quickest possible way so i got the prelude which guys honestly in my opinion i've never had the actual unlubed ones like uh or anything i mean not unlubed but like ever had looped it myself so i don't know this difference of sound but guys irl or in real life these switches sound incredible it honestly sounds insane i absolutely love the sound of these and it just it makes playing so much better and yeah i'm not sure if you guys can hear but let's just type a chat the archon is the best So yeah, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but that's pretty much what the keyboard sounds like on this mic. Honestly, it's such an incredible keyboard, and I would suggest anyone who's into doing it, uh, if you guys want a custom keyboard, feel free to get one. It's honestly so insane. And guys, if you want, hook me up. Um, we can talk our deal, you know. I might actually be making like a not a website but basically if anyone wants custom keyboards because of course i'm not the best at them um but 
you have to start somewhere in the end of the day. I know a lot of people who, who actually recently started doing them. And honestly, it's not hard. So, well, it might be hard for some people. So if you guys want to, uh, DM me and we'll definitely uh, see what we can do. But yeah, let's carry on mining right here and um, pretty much talk about this. Then I've actually got my coil cable on it, one of my coiled. I've got three coil cables, two red and one black. And pretty much these coil cables uh, just make it look so much better. And of course, I can't really have it. It's not in the proper position because, of course, I'm not in my proper like setup right now. And yeah, once my setup is fully set up, it's going to be insane. The whole keyboard will make the whole aesthetics look so, so much better overall. And it's just going to make the whole gaming experience so much better, which sounds stupid. And a lot of people say, how can a keyboard change like how you play or what makes you want to do? And it's honestly, I never really thought you could really change originally. And when you get this keyboard, it just literally is transformed everything because of how nice it is. It feels like I play a lot better, which I'll show you guys that in a PvP battle. Okay, guys, so we've got the jewel right here. It's literally in the kit I want and everything. So, <clears throat> of course, we're using 1.16. This could go <laughs> very, very bad. But honestly, and we're using shaders. Okay, so we need to definitely um, win this to actually show off this keyboard on how good it is and everything like that. Because this keyboard, honestly, is incredible, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. What is this guy doing? Are you good, bro? Uh, do you not know what no debuff is, my friend? Do you not know what no debuff is? Okay, it looks like this guy does not know what no debuff is. But guys, at least we're showing off the keyboard right here. I'm really not sure what this guy is doing. I feel quite bad, guys. Um, <laughs> I guess this is what Archon players are like. Like the proper noobs, guys, are prison to players. Uh, go on, bro. Go on. No, no, you're not getting out. You're not getting out. Uh, let's kill him. Let's kill him. Oh, we pole blocked him. And he died. That, is, that was probably the quickest fight ever. Ah, you know what? Let's just... Let's go again. Okay, guys. So, it looks like we just got sent another jewel. And I'm actually going to go ahead and accept it since the last one was super, super quick. And, yeah, it might have been a bit boring. Um, <clears throat> not going to lie. But, yeah, this guy looks a bit like he actually knows what he's doing at least. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And, yeah, like you can see, this keyboard's actually a banger, guys. I love it so, so much. It's easy to strafe on. So much better than my other keyboard. And I have loved my Ducky 1 too many so so much as well which is just incredible uh comparing and this guy's playing 1.16 you can tell because he's hitting slow uh which it actually has a 1.8 hit rig on here guys so yeah if you ever draw me make sure you click fast or you just normally click and yeah you make sure you don't use the 1.16 hit rig uh just a little tip for you guys if you are ever interested in knowing that um guys this guy's so weirdly laggy i think and it's hard to aim on him wait okay i just got 1.16 comment when i'm on 1.8 basic you know what guys i quit i i just i quit i'm clicking 60 plus from now on no, i'm joking let's go all right that was a bit embarrassing i'm not gonna lie um <laughs> i guess i i did just get on and i'm now i'm pvp on 1.16 so it's not really exactly smooth um let's just straight for this guy right here and you guys can just see basically how cool this actual keyboard actually is because it is incredible this keyboard is uh like i keep saying and if you guys want the specs i'll leave everything down below um, even though I said I am actually doing a whole uh, video on it, which there will be a whole specs then on it and everything um, But I still want to leave it for this video because this video most likely will come out Actually, it will come out before my other one uh, But I want you guys to know and see how I built the keyboard and stuff And that was my first two pots right there. That's crazy guys um, <laughs> That we actually just used our first two pots. That's all and honestly, I love using shade as well Especially when we're playing like these get type of game modes, etc. These game are like well, shaders definitely is worth it. That's where shaders come in handy. And overall, it just makes the video look so much smoother and everything like that. That's why I love it so much. Um, and I pretty much only use shaders on a Skyblock. I mean, on a Archon. Because I just think the Archon videos has to be produced at very high quality. So, I think shaders definitely transforms it. Which is weird to say. Just the shaders transforms it. And yeah, I'm just clicking literally 6 CPS on this guy. Because why not? Um, I could click 12. But what's the point? I just put my click on him and see what happens. Well, I feel quite bad because this guy's probably nearly ran out of parts already, and I've literally used two pots the whole game, uh, which is kind of funny if I'm honest with you guys. 
um, because yeah, it's it's kind of an L to this guy. But yeah, let's go ahead and hopefully win this fight and uh, not quick drop, guys, at all. But he, he has to hit me to quick drop. Uh, and these strafes are insane on this keyboard, guys. It's like the clicks are so much better. And these are tactile switches, guys. Um, if you don't know, uh, my most switches are linear and tactile. Honestly, guys, it's definitely very, like changed it for me. I never thought I would ever switch from tactile. Uh, I mean, uh, it's a little, 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 little. Oh. What the hell are they called? Linear, that's it. Uh, from Linear. I sounded like Dawn there, I'm not going to lie. I was trying to purposely do that. Um, but then it sounded a lot worse than it actually was meant to. Uh, I'm sorry, Dawn, if you're watching this video. But yeah, uh, basically... Uh, wait, let's kill this guy. And there we go, guys. We got a W. But yeah, these are actually Linear switches, guys. Which honestly... Not Linear, sorry. Uh, these are Tactile, which honestly... Through my experience so far, guys. Tactile has really, really come out on my stages. And I think I might use them from now on. Okay guys, so before I end this video, if you guys are interested in a custom keyboard or me to make you a custom keyboard, it will cost you of course, but guys feel free to leave a DM on my Twitter, Discord or anywhere of my social medias that is linked to FastPots guys, and I will definitely reply back to you. And I could actually definitely give you a little quote or whatever you want to say on a price if you guys are interested in a custom keyboard. Custom keyboards are the best thing ever. And I'm not just saying that. Honestly, I'm so, so happy with mine. So, guys, if you ever need help or anything like that, please feel free to DM me. I'm pretty good with them now. And I know exactly what I'm doing. I <coughs> <coughs>